So good evening, everyone. This is John Rollins, and we're here for our weekly Strive sessions. Strive, strategies to remain informed, strategies to remain victorious, strategies to remain empowered. And I'm happy to be back. On last week, we were experiencing some technical difficulties. I was trying to go live and I got a message that says that my browser will not support my camera and I, it was it was interesting. So I thought instead of trying to pressure myself, why don't we just get it right and come back on. So I'm excited to be back with you today. And as you know, we have been talking about the pursuing wisdom for for some time. And before I do that, I, I just want to congratulate all of the graduating or promoting people uh, from middle school from elementary to middle from middle to high school from high school to college those of you who have completed your your degrees your areas of study congratulations uh i know that they are looking at creative ways to celebrate you but i want to celebrate you today and i know that you have maybe a week or so left before everything is done maybe you're in the area where finals now or you're in the midst of your finals you're going to do well you're going to do you're going to get this okay and so once you finish those, congratulations on your accomplishments. We are so proud of you. All right. But we've been talking about pursuing wisdom. Uh, we are maybe about halfway through this series. There's a lot more that we want to share. Okay. But I want to do a review. Uh, trust and reverence God was the first step. Trust and reverence God. And then the second one was to choose your friends wisely. We said listen to the positive messages that you've heard repeated throughout your life. We told you that you got to know a good gift when you see one. We talked about the key to a long and satisfying life. We said if you want it badly enough, go after it. Don't allow anyone to keep you from becoming or uh, attaining those things that are of key value or interest to you. We said if you really, really want the milk, buy the cow. Quit going out and renting, renting relationships. Get your relationship to stay in it. All right. I mean, that's of course, if it's a good relationship, you know, there may be some times. When you have to, you, you you have to leave it, okay. But it, don't don't rent out your love. It says uh, your signature on that piece of paper makes you responsible. We were talking about your credit. We we're talking about when you co-sign for someone, or you ask someone to co-sign for you, you are responsible. Regardless of how strong you think you are, there's always someone or something that's stronger. We we're talking about your habits, and then we said half a mind that is open is better than a whole mind that is closed. How do you view possibilities? How do you view opportunities? Stolen candy, although it may be sweet, is still stolen. We're talking about your integrity, your character. We talked about the tale of two lies on last time we were here. The difference between a wise person and a foolish person. How their mindsets, how their activities, their behaviors differ. And today, if you want it, come and get it. If you want it, it's available. you got to come and get it. We're talking about real success. All right. And, and the first thing that we say with regards to that is you, you have to want to be taught. You have to, in order for you to learn, you have to want to be taught. What are you saying? I'm saying that you have two people in, this, in the same situation. they exposed to the same set of circumstances. One of them will grasp the, the lesson, will make the adjustments and move forward successfully. The other person who's been on, on just trying to do it their way and not being open to new ideas, they may not get it. There's some people, regardless of what you offer to them, they refuse to accept it. They don't want it. And so in order to learn, you got to want to be taught. It says good people, good people are blessed by God. Evil people are condemned. Okay. I... Um, and I'm I'm a believer, and I, I make no I, I have no reservations about sharing that. Okay, and I believe that for those people who are intent on aligning their lives with the will of God, I believe that those are the people who receive the blessings of God. And if you, I I remember once I, I shared a message, and the title of the message was a fight for my life. And then it, we said that you know if you are an enemy. If you have an op an opponent and you're in opposition with a group or an individual, but you have keys to victory, 
why would you share your keys to victory with your opponent, with your enemy? Why would you give all of your resources available to those people who are in opposition to you? Good people are blessed by God. Evil people are condemned. There should be no expectation that you will receive the blessings of God if you're operating in opposition to God. Okay? The only way to have real success is to be godly, not wicked. And I believe most of us, especially those of us who have had enough birthdays to, to have to pause when we ask how old we are. Say, wait, wait, I was born in 19. <laughs> but for those of us who have been around long enough, we realize that real success is not getting stuff. It's not the acquisition of material things. That's not real success. The only way to have real success is to be godly. I remember hearing Earl Nightingale in his book, Lead the Field, he defines success as the progressive realization of a worthy, worthy or worthwhile goal. Okay. Success is not an attainment. It's, it's the journey, John Merkel says. And maybe he took that, that quote from someone else. Okay. But the way to have real success is to be godly. It is very important, the next one says, to have a close friend who builds you up and not tear you down. But it's equally important for us to be people who build up others and not tear them down. I, I've heard this saying and I've used it before. Be a, build, a, a bridge builder. Connect people together. Bring, give people a, the opportunity to move from where they are to where they're going. Build bridges and not barriers. Okay. Honest thoughts fill the good person's mind. Lies fill the evil person's mind. Honest thoughts. And we've heard us talk about honesty in previous sessions. And there's just something to be said about Honesty, they, you, it, it's irreplaceable. Def defend or accuse. You're in a situation you can either defend or you can accuse. You can stand or you can perish. Those are choices that we have. The person with good sense is admired. The person who makes bad decisions, bad choices, they lose friends. A full plate of food that comes from someone who is not afraid to get his or her hands dirty tastes a whole lot better than an empty place of, a plate of food from someone who was unwilling to work, who didn't want to get their the hands dirty, who thought they were the, the job was beneath them. Okay, if you don't mind getting your hands a little dirty, you probably don't. You probably will not be in situations where there's some stuff that's uh, there for you to eat. But if you have these high standards of yourself, you say that you you just refuse to do those types of jobs or you won't do that kind of work. It's beneath you. That's a good possibility that you may be hungry or you may end up doing something criminal. Everything created by God, the next one says, deserves to be treated well, including your pets. And uh, as a as a grand, for, I, well, I'm not sure what my title is, when you have a, the, your child has an animal that makes you a grand furry parent, grandparent of a furry animal, furry family member, I don't know. Okay, but I have a, um, I, we, we, have, we now are the grandparents of a pet. Okay. And, and there's one thing that I, 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 and I owned pets back when I was younger. When my, young, my children were younger, we had pets in the home. And we had a long space before there was a pet. Okay. But it is it's refreshing to see um, how this, this dog reacts to, to my family. When we come into the room, she gets so excited. She runs outside and she wants to play with us. She wants to engage us. I believe that she she has a desire to just show unconditional love to us, and I remember thinking even on today um, we went down to the mailbox and she went with me to the mailbox, but she walked down there beside me. She walked back. Sometimes she went ahead of me. Okay, but but her devotion to the to her her family members it it, it is amazing, and I sometimes I feel that that's how we can be with our devotion to our father our. Our, our heavenly family. Okay, what if we were as devoted to the Lord as our pets were to us? Because they deserve to be treated well. And I believe that God goes out of the way to make sure that we are treated well. Next one says, if you waste your time, do not expect prosperity. Time is one of those resources that you can't go and get it back. I, I tell you what, that second that just passed, you won't ever see that second again. 
You may have another one, okay, but the one that went is not coming back. If you waste your time, do not expect prosperity. Helping another to be better means that you will not be jealous of what they have. You know how refreshing it is to live your life knowing that you have contributed to the well-being of others and how you are able to bask in their success. You clap when they clap. You rejoice when they rejoice. You celebrate when they celebrate. Okay, When you have that mindset, that attitude toward others, you're not going to be envious of what they have. You're going to be excited for them. You'll be excited with them. Okay? The next one says the truth. The truth will be the same today, tomorrow, and forever. The truth is not going to change. Okay? Now, our interpretation may change, but the truth doesn't change. I remember Abraham Lincoln responding once. He says, how many tails do you have? How many legs do you have on a dog if you call the tail a leg? How many legs are there on a dog if you call the tail a leg? And Abraham says, four. Just because you call the tail a leg doesn't make it a leg. Okay, the truth. The truth is not going to change. It will be the same tomorrow, it'll be the same next week, and it will be the same five, ten years from now. And why is that important? Because if you're a person who is intent on telling the truth, you don't have to worry about trying to remember what your story was the last time or who you, how you related to another person. Okay? You tell the truth, that truth will be the same every time you tell it. The next one says, a simmering pot of water. This comes when we talk about dealing with conflict, dealing with co confrontations. A simmering pot of water removed from the heat will never boil over. You have two people who are in a disagreement with each other and both of them are yelling at each other. And when one person speaks loudly, the next person tries to speak with, with greater intensity. Okay. Eventually, what you're going to have is a situation that boils over. <clears throat> okay. But you will be surprised, and this comes from the Bible says a soft answer, giving a soft answer, how it can, it can resolve situations. A simmering pot of water, if you remove it from the heat, that, that pot would not boil over. If you have two people who are in an argument or in a disagreement, and one person chooses to turn down the heat, you'll be surprised, uh, surprised at how it may resolve the conflict. Instead of yelling and talking at each other, now you be open to listen to the other person. The next one, the dictionary that contains words that hurt also contains words that, words that heal. Okay, Use your words wisely. Choose the words carefully. There, there, those things like the air, the time that we talk about, many times once those words have come out of our mouth, we can't, we can't get them back. I, 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 if you're like me, there have been situations where you've said something and it got about, about this far out your mouth before you realize, you know, I could have, I could have, I could have chosen a different set of words. I could have said that better. But guess what? You can't go back and undo it. Okay. The next one, are, there's, there's are an abbreviation: D W Y S Y W D. D W Y S Y W D. If you pay attention to it, you write it down, it's the same going forward as it is going backwards. I think they call those anagrams. I'm not sure. I know there's a word for it. But what it means is do what you say you will do. People of integrity, keep your word. Do what you say you will do. You're most often defined by what you do, not by what you think, not by what you plan to do. This is one that I use a lot when I'm talking with my children uh, in my programs. I say seeds unplanted never produce a harvest. Seeds that remain in the bag will never produce a harvest. If you're intending on giving yourself an opportunity, you got to take your seeds out of the bag. You got to put them in the soil. You got to watch over them until they produce. Next one, if you will not take the time to clean the fish you caught, and you know, hear, hearing that come from me, you know I love to fish. If, you're not, if you will not take the time to clean the fish you caught, you do not deserve to have a full stomach. If you're not able to go out and capitalize on the seeds that you sown, if you're not willing to go out and harvest at harvest time, then you don't deserve a full stomach. And the last one, it is on the path of life where the godly are found. We're talking about real success. Real success. If you want it, it's available. Come and get it. Most times, though, it's not going to come to you. 
you're going to have to put in some effort. You're going to have to get up and do something. I call it get up off your, your soft do, do something or your soft do nothing. <laughs> you're sitting on something. It's soft, but there's either something or nothing associated with your, your, your actions, your behaviors. Get up off of your soft do nothing. Get up off of your soft do something, but it's on the path of, of life where the godly are found. If you want it, come and get it. Real success, it is available for you. All right, this is John with the five session strategies to remain informed, strategies to remain victorious, strategies to remain empowered. Well, we're, we're just sharing with you information that we believe will help you, those of us who are believers, those of us who are in the body of Christ, to live lives that are enjoyable, lives that are refreshing, lives that are fulfilling. That's what I believe we've been put on this earth to do. I'm not saying that we will not have difficulties. Yes, we'll have difficult times, we'll have troubling times, trials and oppositions, okay, but it's not what happens to you, it's what happens in you. Who, you, who are you becoming? Okay, real success, if you want it, come and get it. I end the way that I love to end. I want to remind you today, if no one has come to you today, since the time you got it this morning up to this very moment, and have affirmed you, have told you how great you are, allow me the privilege to remind you that you you are important. Don't you ever forget it. This is John. You all be blessed and we'll hopefully see you next week.